Hello, I'm Tim McLaren, and I'm going to introduce you to the PEARLS exam. This is an ultrasound exam that was developed by doctors uh, Janice Botton and Mike Wagner. Um, the views are drawn from several other exams uh, that have been previously well validated, like the, the CLUE exam and the FAST exam. So some of these views are going to be very familiar to some of you. And this is Dr. Botton performing the PEARLS exam on a patient. And you can see uh, she the, the unit is small enough that she just keeps it in her pocket. She carries it with her and she uses it just as part of her routine physical exam. Um, and she's found that this really has, has helped her practice tremendously because um, it allows her to spend more time with the patient at the bedside. And it allows her to sort of point out to the patient, as you can see her doing here, um, in real time, what's going on inside of their own body. And uh, this really helps with patient compliance because they, you know, it's easier to believe that someone knows what they're talking about when they show you what they're talking about. Um, and uh, she also finds that this improves the workflow of her day. Um, you know, instead of having to wait around for some test to be ordered uh, to sort of uh, test a hunch or, you know, a clinical hypothesis, she can just have a look inside and and determine uh, right away what's going on in many cases. So these are the Pearl's views. And these are, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, many of them drawn from other sort of standardized ultrasound exams. And these are just views that Dr. Botton found that she was going to over and over again. Um, and, and Mike Wagner had this same sort of experience. Um, and so these views became, uh, they put them together into an acronym, the PEARLS views, to help us remember them. Um, and these are just a collection of views that are especially useful in the, the primary care setting, whether it's in the hospital or in the outpatient setting, uh, particularly in the hospital. Um, this is Dr. Mike Wagner. Uh, performing the PEARLS exam. I'm going to show you the whole exam <clears throat> so that you can see how quickly uh, he's able to move through all these different views. So on the left, you can see Dr. Wagner performing the PEARLS exam. And on the right, um, just for comparison, he's performing a more standard uh, sort of physical exam. And you can see as he obtains each of these views on the left that uh, he really only needs a, a quick glimpse in, in each view to show him what he, he needs to see. Uh, and this happens you know, as you become trained, as your eye becomes trained to these views, uh, of obtaining them over and over and over again, you really get a, a strong sense for what normal looks like. And so when you see something that's not normal, uh, it really jumps out at you very quickly. The visual cortex acts very quickly. And so he's just taking a look. You can see liver and spleen on that last view, and here you're going to see, I'm sorry, liver and kidney on that last view, and here you're going to see uh, spleen and kidney in the left upper quadrant. So you can see you get a view of uh, many different organ systems here. You can see lung, you can see heart, you can see parts of the urinary and gastrointestinal systems. And then um, finally, he's, he's going to finish up with a quick view of the bladder in the super big view. So all told, uh, he's, t he's taken about two minutes to go through all these views. And really, um, in real life, you wouldn't necessarily go through all of the views each time. Um, and so the exam actually could be quicker because you may only obtain one or two of the views. So right now, um, many uh, companies are fighting for market share uh, of this, this new market for people who want to put ultrasound units in their pocket and carry, it, carry the, the units with them. Um, the units are becoming quick, um, small, and inexpensive. And you can see um, in, the, in the top two pictures, a lot of units are um, plugging into the screens that we already carry with us. So iPads and other tablets 
or iPhones and other uh, Android devices, that sort of thing. Uh, and some units are even going wireless now, as you can see in some of these units on the bottom. The uh, prices on these are really falling precipitously too as, as the companies are you know, fighting for this market share. The lowest price that I've seen so far is the, the unit in the top right here um, among the units that are FDA approved. This is the, the cheapest that I've seen. It's um, under $2,000 and it actually is based on a whole different technology behind the, the ultrasound transducer. Or at least that's my understanding of it. <clears throat> so the goals today or in this presentation um, are to give you an, an information rich set of views that you can go back to again and again um, and get used to. These are the Pearl's views. And my hope is that um, that you, like me, are, are looking to begin uh, practicing ultrasound as part of your physical exam, that you'll just do this routinely and get used to those views um, and make this a part of your, your practice throughout the rest of your life uh, or your profession. And, and I hope you can approach this like learning to use a stethoscope. So when you learn to use a stethoscope, you just started putting bell to skin and listening and getting used to what does, what does normal sound like? Uh, what is a normal breath sound? Or how does a normal breath sound? How does uh, a normal heart sound? How do the bowels sound normally? And then you keep doing that and you start seeing differences among people and um, you start hearing them in pathologic states too and how those sounds change. Same, same deal with ultrasound. Just put probe to skin, start to see what's normal and, and, uh, and you'll also see things that are not normal. So a general approach um, when you start putting probe to skin, how can you make sense of what you're seeing? How can you have an observer's eye? So when you're looking at solid organs, you can observe their size, their shape, and their texture. For hollow organs and the heart, you can, for the heart specifically, you can look at the chambers of the heart. You can look at their size and shape, and um, you can look at the walls of the heart, you can look at how they move and how thick they are, and you can look at the valves as well, how they move uh, or fail to move, and you know whether they are competent or incompetent, and uh, whether they have extra things growing on them. And then finally, you're always on the lookout for things where they shouldn't be. And I like to sort of break these into the broad categories of solids, liquids, or gases. Solids classically could be neoplasms, could be um, uh, foreign bodies. Um, liquids uh, could be effusions or blood, uh, gases. You may have a perforated bowel or um, uh, an infection that's um, gas forming. So just as you're approaching any organ, um, you can have some framework for, for how to begin observing what you're seeing there. And in these um, in this presentation, I, I assume that you have some basic knowledge of the physics of ultrasound. Um, there's some great YouTube videos out there that, that really go through this very clearly. You can just Google physics of ultrasound and, and find one that suits you. Um, and then also, um, I assume that you have some knowledge of human anatomy, physiology, and pathology.